Guys, this is Anton again back with another video. I have with me the new Asus Zenfone 5 and I'm gonna show you the benchmarks and also the internals and the uh, full review of this handset and my thoughts about this. Let's start this test of uh, Android benchmark uh, which I do always uh, in any of my handset because this is one of the best uh, uh, benchmarking test for a handset to be judged. And let me uh, turn off the smart saving also that we can judge the phone better and it will take a minute or two benchmark so, is now complete and the score is uh, 23,121 this is the details of the score this is 23,121 um, so it's pretty decent I would say uh, for a phone like this which is uh, priced under 10,000 rupees excellent and let me show you the configuration using a CPU Z this is Intel Atom CPU the, the, the CPU model is Z2560 1.6 gigahertz it's dual core but uh, Android sees it as a quad core as you can see four cores and uh, the resolution of the screen is uh, 1280 1280 into 720p and it's Android 4.4.2 KitKat running on Dalvik um, Dalvik runtime the RAM is 2 gigs, the internal storage is 12.14 GB and also it's expandable obviously. The battery level is uh, good, the battery temperature currently is uh, 38.7 degrees centigrade and the sensors are available are accelerometer, magnetic sensor, orientation sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor and uh, as well as the virtual orientation sensor. And let me show you the camera also, let me take a picture of my cup here. So. So I have take two shots of my uh, coffee mug. This is the shot I have take with uh, tap to focus enabled, and this is without any tap to focus. That means uh, only auto focusing. So one thing I'm noticing that the focusing is all right in artificial light. The 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 colors are uh, actually a little bit fade out. I mean I mean to say the colors are not as saturated at, as it should be. But it's uh, real to life, uh, definitely it's a good thing and the focusing is excellent in direct sunlight, I have tested it in my uh, garden uh, in direct sunlight, that was uh, perfect. And also overall the performance of the UI is very smooth as you can see, it's extremely smooth. And also you can use any kind of launcher like uh, Google Now Launcher if you want. Uh, so I just have to go to here and make some, go to home and set the google now launcher and as you can see this is the google now launcher and you can get all the animations of google now launcher so that's also excellently smooth and the ok google also works let me try ok google what's the weather like so it didn't reply to me let me try again ok google who's the president of india is the president of India so uh, it, it did work and the speaker quality is not so good the camera is good uh, it's decent enough for the price the speaker is not so well excellent display excellent viewing angle the scratch resistant glass is also very much scratch resistant the front facing camera is uh, also well enough let me show you the front facing camera as well so this is the front facing camera not uh, so much vibrant I would say but uh, it's more than capable and well enough and uh, the music quality is excellent the internal storage has been a little bit more than a normal phone and it should be good enough for you and I have also made the gaming review and also unboxing review do check them up if you have any other queries and I'll put the link in the description below if you have any queries do let me know in the comment sections and one thing and this kind of OTG drive also supported in in this phone as well as this has a LED notification light and it's a multicolor uh, so it's can can be a little bit useful so that's all in my full review and my honest thoughts so hope you guys enjoyed and keep following me subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll catch you up in my next video